Good morning, welcome to the next podcast of Andy Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. Fresh from yesterday's CMS meeting, the Cricket Memorabilia Society at Lords, where we had a great day with uh, actually finally meeting up with a few old friends after COVID restrictions over the last few years. So it was a great event actually yesterday. Um, David Smith was one of the speakers, the old Surrey, Worcester and Sussex player. Uh, Sir Clive Lloyd was there and also David Frith who was accepting his uh, award of excellence for many years of his love of cricket, his love of cricket memorabilia and his general input into the whole cricket world. It's not fairly a book that's already a book that's been uh, published without uh, David Frith's um, archive memory. I've been very fortunate to know him for many years. As you probably knew or who were there yesterday, I brought him along. So I had the fortune of uh, listening to a few stories on the way up and on the way back. So it's fantastic. I mean, he's been great with me. Um, he's taught me so many things over the years. Um, mainly just know your subject, really. And uh, seeing him identify players and what have you has been great. So that rubbed off on me. So I'm okay with uh, identifying players, but um, could do with a bit of a... Uh, a uh, bit of improvement, I suppose, but um, I don't think this is bad, I don't think so. Uh, it was a great day anyway yesterday at the CMS, so uh, please join. This is a CMS uh, Cricket Memorabilia Society's last magazine, which you get uh, quarterly each year. It's a great mem um, society to be involved with. As you say, you can go to the meetings each year, um, meet great guests like Smithy and uh, Sir, Do uh, Sir Clive Lloyd, um, some other great guests we've had over the years, so... It's a great event, so um, I encourage you all to join if you're not a member already. So anyway, it was a great day for me, collecting-wise, actually, yesterday. Um, first of all, I've got a couple of cards here, which are Cricket Memorability, uh, Memorability Billia side or Society produce uh, in a limited edition of 100. And I can't believe I've not collected any of them apart from these two yesterday. So that's another area to collect. Maybe they're quite collectible now. Um, and some of them are quite valuable. They go back quite a long way now. So you get a David Smith sign card there, which is number 79 of 100. And you get uh, David Frith there, which was number 40. But he signed 100 anyway yesterday. So um, if you haven't got one, and remember, you can certainly send off to get one. So that was a great addition to my collection there yesterday. A um, couple of other things here that turned up at the meeting. This lovely Laurie Nash signature, which was a bit of a surprise to me, I have to say. I didn't expect to see him there. Two uh, test matches for Australia in the 30s. So that's quite a rare little signature there of Laurie Nash, fast bowler. And I picked up this lovely Harold Larwood signed. Well, it's a 1928 card there, actually. So it's going to be in keeping with the 1928 photograph I've got coming of Harold Larwood. So that's a nice signature there of Harold in ink. Um, obviously one of the great bowlers there. Interesting story that um, Mr Fifth was involved with yesterday in the car was um, the body line series that um, Gabby Allen refused to bowl it. Uh, I'm not bowling body line, he said, but um, the main reason why Gabby Allen wouldn't bowl it is because he wasn't really accurate enough. So uh, some people really wouldn't uh, know that. So that was a little uh, one from Mr Fifth yesterday that I pass on. And uh, then what else did we get yesterday, which was nice... Uh, uh, Aaron was there, he gave me this uh, lovely calendar, 2023 calendar, which is rather nice. And then um, I bought the book, which is rather nice book, actually, which I obviously haven't read just yet. But um, Megan Ponsford there, nice book, Has Beens and Never Will Bees, which is a 1935-6 uh, tour to, or both Australians, to India. Uh, with a few coming at retirement, like Charlie McCartney, who were on, on the uh, tour. A uh, bit of sickness on, on the tour and also a few injuries, which uh, wasn't a particularly pleasant time for the Australians, I don't think. Um, but with my uh, postcard there of the signed team on board the Mongolia, goes quite well with that. So uh, I'll see some nice pictures in there. Terence Tor, Frank Tarrant, the old middle sex player. He was... Um, Manager of the team. So Terence of Australian 11 there. So that's a nice postcard there of that team to go with the book. Um, then, as I say, Clive Lloyd was there yesterday. I've got him, managed to get him to sign that 
international cricketers. Um, this is a photograph at Trinidad, which I've actually played at a few times. Um, so nice to get that. This is the uh, 1998. I was actually probably there, actually, to be honest, 1998. Um, West Indies v England for the Wisdom Trophy. So that's a nice signed Clive Lloyd postcard there. And uh, Nigel Roberts, he turned up yesterday. Um, I swapped a few things with him yesterday. Or a nice Phil Mead signed card. He gave me a couple of Liverpool Crow programs there. I know uh, I was. I did actually I think I went nineteen eighty to Chelsea Liverpool, but um, that's a nice uh, Chelsea Liverpool there, and that's a Southampton Liverpool program there. Um, but he also gave me swapped with me. It's lovely. I might not be able to get it in the screen. Lovely suitcase traveling case of Cyril Washbrook which is a fantastic thing absolutely full of history and with all the labels on there for South Africa and London P&O um, which one's here Strathaird which they're coming back on in 51 uh, we didn't actually fly out on the Strath um, on sail on the Strathaird he flew out because he was a bit late so my signed postcard of uh, the Strathaird and he's uh, obviously missing Mr. Washbrook from 5051. Um, he's probably one of the first cricketers to actually fly to a tour, actually, which come to think of it now. Um, and there's a nice photo, uh, coloured photograph or picture of the Strathaird. Um, when that had a refit, two of those funnels were taken out and it was left with only one. So that's a nice uh, colour image there of the Strathaird. So we're just going back on the other ones. There's Cyril Washbrook's 4647 tour. Ship photograph, that's the uh, Sterling Castle when it went out on. And I've shown that before, there's the press core on the back of there. So that was uh, first tour first tour after the war, and that was a still decked out as a troop ship, so no airs and graces on that one. And the beer was only given to the crew on that one. And then just to go with that, again, I've shown this before, this is a 1946-47 team photograph I've actually got a 50-51 one as well but uh, that's buried deep in a box somewhere and then just to go to South Africa this is coming back from South Africa in uh, what have we got there 1948-49 so that's quite a nice one there of Stirling Castle so nice bit there with Cyril Washbrook excuse me for ducking out and Nigel also swapped over that there which is some quite some useful information there um, I didn't realize that um, this photograph with the uh, 1858 side or 59 side that one there that's not actually taken on the Nova Scotia uh, that's taken on another ship so um, before they sailed from Liverpool so I didn't know that till this morning I read that bit of uh, information uh, and then finally, a little trip to the post office this morning gave me this lovely, uh, another one of all sober. This one's a coloured one, ashtray, dish, whatever you like to call it. Um, so that's quite a nice addition to the ashtray collection. So that's about it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, as I say, if you can, if you're not already a member of the CMS, please join. It's a fantastic uh, society to be involved with. So anyway, onwards and upwards and I'll see you next week. Cheers.